This video will demonstrate how to create playlists in the platform and organize your content within those playlists. We'll also show you an app view of this content structure so you can visualize how your platform organization translates to your end users. At the end of this video, you'll be able to set up manual playlists and populate them with videos, as well as update the order of those videos within the playlist. You'll also be able to manage the order of the playlists themselves to enhance your viewer's experience. Let's get started. After you've added content into the platform, you'll want to begin organizing it. Selecting the playlist link in your navigation menu will allow you to create playlists, which are collections of videos that you can assemble under playlist titles. To create a playlist, click the new playlist button on the top right. You'll be taken to the playlist details page where you'll enter a title, a URL friendly title, and a description of the playlist. Turning active on will allow your playlist to be active and visible right away, while keeping active off will keep your playlist hidden from view until you're ready to publish it. The next step is to determine if you're creating a manual or category playlist. Manual playlists are playlists that require manually adding videos. Category playlists are playlists that are automatically populated with videos from category values created through the categories link at left. We'll cover categories in detail in a following video. If you have chosen to create a manual playlist, you need to add videos to the playlist next. To manage the order of those videos, you can manually order by dragging and dropping video titles, or you can select an ordering rule. Returning to the playlist view, once you've created some playlists, at first glance, you'll see a flat layout of all playlists. In this view, you can see which playlists are active versus inactive and which are manual versus category. You can set your order of playlists in the Manage Relationships view. This user-friendly view allows you to drag and drop playlists to change order and also provides the ability to nest playlists to create a tiered structure. Having a playlist hierarchy can be especially helpful in creating a pleasant and easy way for your viewers to navigate your content. Keep in mind, any playlist order you set in this view is the order in which your content will appear across all platforms. This leads us to another important point. In order for your content to render on applications, you'll want to ensure you've created the primary playlist. This is the top leftmost playlist under which all other playlists are nested. We recommend this for everyone, even if you don't have applications today or do not plan on having them in the near future. Nesting content properly under the primary playlist just arranges things for easy distribution later. Taking a look at the in-app view, you'll notice that the primary playlist is not evident to the end user. You can also see how the content is nested into playlist tiers, so it's easy for the end user to navigate. And you can also see, if you change around the playlist order in the platform, it will dynamically change the order of the playlist tiers on the app side, so keep in mind that any order changes to an active playlist in the platform will render on the user side almost immediately.